Welcome to Weather Extra on CBSN Bay Area. I'm KPIX 5 meteorologist Paul Hagen. Every week, we're taking a closer look at a different weather topic, a deeper dive than what we can do within our daily weather cast on KPIX. Since we're now a couple of weeks into the new year, it's a good time to take a look back at 2021. We know it was a wild year in California. Widespread drought, millions of acres consumed by wildfire, multiple atmospheric river events, and extensive inland heat waves. But I want to focus mostly on the national perspective as we look back at last year. The U.S. Climate Report will be released later this week, but NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, has already released a preview of the longer report. Their analysis shows that 2021 was the fourth hottest year on record for the U.S. This map shows the amount of the U.S. that experienced above average temperatures in 2021. Of the top 10 hottest years on record in the United States, seven have occurred since the year 2000, and the top six have all happened since 2012. The average annual temperature for 2021 was 2.5 degrees above the 20th century average. 2021 had the hottest summer, the third hottest fall in the historical record, and December 2021 was the hottest December on record for the contiguous United States. That's the lower 48, with temperatures 6.7 degrees above average in December. The Bay Area's temperatures weren't as extreme as what we saw nationally. San Jose recorded its 21st warmest year on record, but it was also the coolest year since 2013. San Francisco's annual average temperature was middle of the pack, just the 63rd warmest on record, largely thanks to the persistent onshore winds we had for so much of the spring and summer. Back to the national perspective, the U.S. was hit with 20 separate billion-dollar weather and climate disasters in 2021. The toll of these events, an estimated 688 lives lost, $145 billion in total damages, exceeds that of 2020, which holds the record of $22 billion disasters in a single year. The staggering number of billion-dollar disasters in 2021 and in 2020, far above the long-term average of seven billion-dollar disasters per year since 1980. And yes, the historical numbers have been adjusted for inflation. The sheer number of disasters means that they're happening more frequently. The average time between those billion-dollar disasters has dropped from 82 days in the 1980s just 18 days on average in recent years. Less time between those disasters strains the resources needed to respond and to recover. Some of the costly and deadly billion dollar disasters of 2021 included plunging temperatures and widespread power outages in the Mid-South and Texas in February, a record shattering Pacific heat wave that was back in June combined with prolonged western drought. We know all about that and Hurricane Ida's long trail of destruction from 150 mile an hour winds in Louisiana to then downpours and flash flooding in the northeastern United States. 2021's record weather is a snapshot of a longer warming trend across the country. According to analysis done by Climate Central, average annual temperatures increased for 98 percent of 246 analyzed U.S. locations over the last 50 years. Of the locations that have warmed since 1970, 67% have warmed by more than 2 degrees Fahrenheit and 28% have, have warmed by more than 3 degrees Fahrenheit. That may not sound like a lot, but it's a statistically significant number, especially of the, over the course of just five decades. More heat-trapping greenhouse gases in the atmosphere leads to warmer conditions, riskier conditions like we experienced in 2021, and recent emissions trends are heading in the wrong direction. Global carbon dioxide emissions from fossil fuels grew by 5% in 2021 relative to 2020, rebounding to pre-pandemic levels. The good news is that there are many opportunities to cut emissions in 2022 and beyond to bend the curve. Every ton of avoided emissions leads to safer conditions for humans, us, and for the infrastructure, the ecosystems, and the economies that we depend on. That's it for this week's Weather Extra. Meteorologist Darren Peck will be back next week to cover another topic, and we are inviting you to play a role. If you have a weather or climate question, just email it to weatherextra at kpix.cbs.com.